Hello, and um, here we are again, reading another children's book. Uh, they they seem to do this on YouTube, where the, the the girl or whoever is reading the book, you can see her face, and then she points the camera to the book. This is a children's book, and um, it's from the library, and it, it'll be due in a couple of days. I got to give it back, and um, hopefully it'll be something cheerful. If anybody watches this during the uh, during the epidemic that's broke out, and the um, a lot of places are closed for now, and all I can do is return this book. I can't check out any more. This is a good book, and. This book is called, uh, let's see, what's it called? It's called Pine and, and Boof. There you go, Pine and Boof. And let's just uh, see a little bit what? is happening in the story. What do we have here? Boof is a bear, but he doesn't like bears. And Pine is a porcupine, and his friend is Boof. And let's see what is happening here. What do you think? What does it look like? It looks like Boof is crying. But why is Boof crying? Well, that's what the book is about. We'll, I'll read it. And we'll see what Boof is crying about. So here we go. I'm going to have to move the camera. I hope this works. I've got to set this up and move it around a bit. So just bear with me as we read Pine and Boof together. Together, together. Let's do this together. No matter what the weather. Let's do this together. Now, I'm going to have to make some adjustments. Uh, in fact, I will have to get up to do this, and I hope it works. Let's see here. Okay. One moment, please. Here we go. Let's zoom in on Pine and, and Boof. Give a little space in case the camera moves. And I must turn the dial the right direction to tighten it up. Here we go. And then tighten up this and tighten up that left and right, left, oh, it wants to go, wait a minute, bear with me, uh. okay, there we go, it's really hard to fight plastic, I tell you, it wants to go its own way, I just hope this turns out, I'm turning it the wrong way again. Here we go. I hope. Okay. Okay, there we go. And look at that. It looks like, it looks like Boof is chasing a leaf. 
and the leaf is going way up in the air. Well, what can this be about? We'll find out as we read Pine and Boof. <laughs> but I have to look at it. I have to look at the screen. So, here we go. Oh no, my foot hit something. How do I learn to keep um, from being clumsy? Uh, okay. We'll give it a go. I think I'm ready. Okay. The reason I'm taking so long is I'm trying to do a better job. So please, I hope you're still here. Because this may be the last book I do for a long time. Here it is. Pine and Boof. So I'll start the story, get into character. Oh, look at this. Got to align it. There we go. Here we go. There are two things that you should know about Booth the Bear. Two things you should know. He is scared of bears. And there he is with his bear spray. And it says bear spray. They can't bear it. And he doesn't like snakes, spiders, and sometimes ladybugs. He loves to collect things. Boo is a avid collector of whatever he finds in the woods. Okay, let's do one more. I think it's adjusted. So he's a collector. When Boof finds rocks and sticks, he gives them faces and names. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Meet Mr. Rock and Mr. Stick. But Boo isn't the best at names. <clears throat> Sometimes Boo finds treasures left behind by campers. Snap! Boo found an instamatic camera. Makes instant pictures. Boy, wasn't he lucky. And so Boo finds things left over by campers. And he also found a photo album. And he sometimes he learns how to use these things he finds, like the camera. Some he doesn't know how to use. But his favorite find was... His lucky leaf. They did everything together. Seesaw, seesaw. Push down, push down, catch, catch, throw it back, campfires, just try, try one, okay, Lucky Leaf, just one. Boof would never let his Lucky Leaf go. I love my Lucky Leaf. I feel so happy, me and my Lucky Leaf. But one day, something not so nice happened. While Boof was playing teeter-totter with his lucky leaf, a wind came and blew Lucky way up in the air. Oh boy, did it go. And it flew and flew. And Boof started crying. There goes his lucky leaf. Poor Boo. 
There are two things you should know about Pine the Porcupine. He is always looking for adventure. And here he comes. He is not always looking where he's going. He knocked into Boof. I'm not Oof, I'm Boof. What's wrong, Boof? I have a so upset I have I lost my lucky leaf, that's what I did. He, he, he blew away. He blew away. Oh! 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 Here's a, here's a picture of my lucky leaf. He's gone. Oh! 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 Boof calmly explained, but not very calmly. Don't worry, Pine, said. With my lucky compass, I can find anything. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Now, where is my lucky compass? I can't find it. Pine knew he needed a plan, so he studied Booth's photograph. Huh, it looks very interesting. He tested the wind. Huh, a soul. And performed calculations. Wind plus leaf equals question mark. Pine had his plan. Oh, what, t tell me, Pine, tell me. What's the plan? What's, what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? No. No. Come here and listen. Look everywhere. Everywhere. Look everywhere. Boof was impressed. Oh boy, oh boy! So they looked under a boulder. Not here. So they looked under a booth. Not here either. Underwear? Yuck! Until they saw. Boof's leaf on a sleeping boar. Shh, we'll tiptoe. Don't worry, Boof. I'm an expert at tiptoeing. And then all of a sudden, snap! Pine stepped on a branch and woke up the boar. Go, 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 go. Let's get out of here, Pine. Go, go, go. Look, Boof. Your leaf. Hurry. How do we get across? We'll swing from the vine, said Pine. Don't worry, Boof. I'm an expert at vines. Grab on. And they grab on a snake instead. And look out. free and flew up in the air. <laughs> oof, oof. Until they hit the ground and then they were stuck. But they would not give up. So Pine says, go right. 
And Pine says, go left. And Pine says, faster, faster, faster. And there it is, the lucky leaf. There he is, within reach, the lucky leaf. Oh, he looks too high to me. But they were too late. Yes, they were too late. I'm sorry your leaf got away, said Pine. Would you like my compass instead? But Boof didn't need a lucky leaf or a lucky compass. He'd find something better. And he knew they'd never be lost when they were together. Oh boy, uh, uh, this cookout is great. Really great. And these marshmallows are great. Yes, don't worry, Boof. I'm expert at hiking down. Sure am. Yes, sirree. We'll never be lost again. But then as Pine looked down the big hill, now, which way is down? It's a very high hill. Boof isn't worried anymore. As long as they're together, they're not lost. So then Boof tried to, decided Boof decided to apologize to the boar and the snake. And he took pictures and he put it in the scrapbook that he found with the camera. And here's the first picture. The next day, Pine and I apologized to the boar for waking him up. And here it is. Boof is giving the boar pancakes and made a card for the snake. Sorry, we, we thought you were a vein. The snake really did appreciate the card of apology. I made us matching patches. Look at that. He made a patch for himself and a patch for pine. And he took a picture. Can't wait for tomorrow. Adventure on. Boof. Boof is ready for another adventure with Pine. They'll never get lost because they'll always be together. 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 It's nice to be together. Even if the weather is bad. It doesn't matter if we're too. Together. And the book was done by Ross Barak. There he is. He has a career in writing children's books and he also drew and colored this book too. He's an artist too. And he's married and he has a daughter. And this is where the lucky leaf went. It's right under the writer's picture. That lucky leaf. He always seems to show up again, doesn't he? Well, there is a picture on the back. Let's take a look at that. Ah, uh, it's Boof and Pine sleeping on the ground under the full moon. And what is coming back down? The lucky leaf. The red lucky leaf. He sure seemed to cause a lot of trouble. Isn't it true that sometimes some people that we love cause us the most trouble? I just love full moons, don't you? And I love to see two people happy. And it is nice to sleep outside, to sleep in the great wild, in the woods, in a field, and to sleep with your friend. And this ends Pine and Boof.
the lucky leaf. I hope you liked it. And this may be my last one for a while. And I'm glad I did it. I didn't just want to give it back to the library. When I read it, I thought, oh, I ought to read this to some people on YouTube. Well, this ends Pine and Booth, The Lucky Leaf. Bye-bye. Goodbye. See you around. Here we go. 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 Here we go.